So, welcome to your first exercise in the Doctor of Business Administration program being offered by the Muma College of Business at the University of South Florida. And this first exercise is to create a welcome video of yourself, and we'd like you to do this using a combination of PowerPoint slides and uh, Camtasia in order to create a presentation that has both your face and uh, other information on it. And the reason we're doing this is uh, twofold. One, it's going to give you some practice with some of the software that we expect you'll be using a lot over the course of the program. Second, um, it's a convenient way of getting all the introductions in one place so that both members of your cohort and faculty members can find out a little bit more about you without taking three hours of class time to give everybody a five minute introduction. So I hope you enjoy this, and if you have any questions, of course, feel free to contact me. This first part is going to look at a template that I prepared for you uh, that you can use as a basis for your slides. Now, there's no requirement that you use this template at all. You're welcome to uh, use something else or possibly not even use PowerPoint. You might even decide to do something using Prezi or still images or whatever. You really have a lot of flexibility in that regard. Uh, but this particular technique, I believe, will be very useful as you prepare presentations in the future. So uh, uh, if you're not sure, if you're not experienced doing this stuff, I suggest that you just kind of follow the instructions and go ahead. And then this hour exercise should not take terribly long. Presumably, since you've gotten this far, uh, I don't have to tell you how to log into Canvas and get to the assignment. Now, one thing I might mention as I am doing this is when I'm recording full screen as I am now, uh, you will see the recording window below here. Normally, I would never do anything like that. Camtasia has a setting here where if I go to the recording toolbar uh, and uh, um, uh, look at it, I can, excuse me, that's not the right one. It's um, under options. I guess I can't change the options. But if I went into options before I start recording, I can get it so it hides the toolbar when I'm recording full screen. I'm not hiding it now because I want you to see how I'm doing the recordings. Uh, so just a side note, since you will not normally see these things. Another thing I might also mention is that uh, uh, in order to make this a little bit more visible, I uh, scaled my browser to 200%. And what that does is it allows me to um, <laughs> make everything readable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the uh, template, which is part of the instructions. And I'm going to download this template to show you how to do it. But uh, when I actually get into the exercise, I will uh, work with the faculty template, which has the same structure but slightly different title headings. So I put my mouse over this. I right click and then I save target as. That should bring up a dialog that will allow me to uh, uh, save it somewhere. I think I've been saving stuff here to the D drive. So I will come down here, go into the video area just so I know where I put it. And then I will save the template. Uh, and so now I am ready to edit the template. And uh, this is exactly what you will be doing. OK, I have opened the template that I just saved. And I'll click on Enable Editing. Uh, which is something you'll typically have to click whenever you've uh, downloaded something from the internet. And uh, it will now reopen in an editing mode. Now, um, the template um, is basically, a, you know, three very simple slides. I basically, that's what I instructed you to do. But each one has a slightly different thing. You'll notice that I have these blue windows on the template. Uh, and each one of those is just to remind you that for this, you're going to want to actually be putting your picture uh, in the template. And I'll show you how to do that in a later segment. But uh, this is just kind of a reminder that you're going to need something there. And uh, so what I'm going to do is if I were editing the template, the next thing I would do is probably delete that because I now know this. Uh, 
Now, um, um, it asks for your name, so I'll put my name. And then we'll look at the next slide. Now, if you take a look at this slide, um, one of the things you'll notice if you have the slide sorter view open, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with PowerPoint, and if you're not, uh, then we can work with you on that, but that's one of the view menus uh, gives you uh, a normal view with an outline on the side. So if we take a look at this, uh, you'll notice there's a star. That tells me that I've got an animation. Now, what I will do here is I'll delete this, and then I will just uh, uh, briefly talk about this. If I were to run this as a presentation, uh, what would happen is, uh, well, I'll show you what happens uh, if I run it as a presentation. If I now hit enter, it will bring up the bullet points one at a time. When you're recording and talking at the same time, I'll press escape. Uh, when you're recording and talking at the same time, it's nice to have those animations. Now, that's a very easy animation to create. Uh, if you're creating your own template or want to modify something, if you come over to the animation window and then just select an item, uh, this is a fly-in animation, and uh, you change, I change the effect option so it flies in by paragraph, so basically one bullet at a time. And uh, then it gives you a sample of what that looks like. So with this, it's relatively easy. I'll just... Uh, I'll just put in Harvard undergrad. Uh, HBS, MBA, and DBA. And the idea with bullet points uh, is don't create things that you're going to read. Just create things uh, that you might uh, <laughs> that remind you what you're going to say. Uh, current position, uh, faculty in I, S, and D, S. Uh, uh, let's see, governor of informing science institute. And I am truly the lamest typist in the world. And I don't, when I am recording, I don't want to be typing because you can see me looking down. It looks as if I'm being very shifty here. Uh, past experience, submarine officer, uh, consultant in agribusiness. I don't need much else. Uh, personal spouse Claire sons Tommy and Jonathan hobbies uh, well I used to do songwriting so that uh, I've really done much of that recently but uh, that Okay, so so now I've got stuff, and so if uh, when it comes time to record it, then I will be able to do one at a time and talk as they're coming in through the animation. Because when you've got the animation, I'll go into the presentation again. Each time you click the mouse, one of the things comes in, and that just makes it easier to work with. All right, so I'll press Escape, come back again. Now, what I thought for the third slide, you know, uh, the question uh, I think I had for you is why am I enrolling in the program? Uh, in this one, I, I'm asking the question, why am I teaching in the program? Because that's more relevant to faculty. I'll get rid of this. I know that's where I'm going to be putting my picture. And by the way, you could put the picture over this while you record it if you wanted to. Um, so I delete it. Um, and uh, what uh, topics? Uh, do I uh, teach? Uh, well, let's see. I teach informing science. Case writing. Now, if you look carefully, uh, you'll know over to the side, this looks like a bullet point list, and it is. This is what uh, PowerPoint calls a smart graphic, and they have a whole bunch of them. And you can do exactly the same with smart graphics that you do with uh, 
uh, that you do with uh, bullet points. Uh, they just provide a little variety because it's very easy to get bullet point fatigue when you're doing PowerPoint. So uh, research methods, uh, okay, case method uh, and uh, simulation, I do some of that. Um, and uh, uh, personal goals, okay, I just want to get through this semester <laughs> without you all hating me. Uh, goals for the cohort, uh, 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 everyone engaged. Doesn't really matter what I'm putting here. Uh, well, it matters what you're putting here, but it doesn't matter what I'm putting here because I'm basically using this as an example. Okay, so now um, uh, let me just go back to this. You'll notice you see this animation here. Uh, you can animate objects just the way you can bullet points so that if I were to go into the presentation mode here, uh, I, uh, if I click the mouse, um, it tells me topics, and then it lists this, methods, lists this, uh, goals, lists this, and you see over here is where I'm planning to put my photo. Uh, and uh, you can add more layers if you want. Uh, and you could use an entirely different device or you could use bullet points. Uh, but the, uh, the thing that we're using here is actually, you know, let's click on this, uh, go into insert. If you go into smart art, uh, you have a whole bunch of different selections of things that you can do with smart art, and most of them are effectively disguised bullet point lists. And if you click on the smart art, uh, you can get the list to appear, and you can edit the list, and it all appears. And then if you go into the animation area and select the animation, uh, uh, let's see, so we select the object, so now you see that I chose a wheel animation instead of zooming in, which is a little slow, but it's okay. You can also look at the animation pane, which actually shows you uh, uh, the different animations, and you can drag them around in some cases and get them so that uh, you can change the order of animation. You can do a lot of customizing to this, uh, and if you want to see what it's going to look like, you can click on play all and it'll actually show you what it's going to look like while you're editing. So this is how I prepared the slides. Uh, the, uh, you personalize things your own way, do whatever you choose, uh, but now uh, we're ready to uh, begin the recording process. Uh, and by the way, when you actually do this, it's probably a good idea to save it under a different name. So I'll go to File, Save As, and uh, I'll go back into the same folder, and then I will change this to Grand and Introduction, so I don't overwrite the template. Of course, if you do overwrite the template, you can always download it from Canvas again. Okay. taking a while to save. Okay, now we're ready to go to the actual recording process.